guys welcome back to my channel it has been probably a few years since I filmed a video I honestly don't remember the last video I filmed uh, I rarely even go on to this channel even more to kind of check it to see what's going on in this part of the world I have been very disconnected from the firearms world. I've been thinking a lot about it lately and kind of where I am with everything, where I fit in. I still do carry. I still um, have the same guns that I've had for the last several years. I haven't gotten anything new. I think I have gotten one new holster. Well, it's not even really a holster. It's, it's a belly band. Is that called a holster? I don't even know. I don't even know what things are anymore. I am so out of the loop. Um, but yeah, I've only gotten one firearms related thing in the last several years. I've had a lot of things going on for a while that have just kind of taken my attention um, elsewhere. And I honestly got a little burnt out with all of this stuff. I had been filming videos for this channel for years and posting on Instagram and all the things and I just kind of got burnt out with all of the social media aspect of it and just trying to keep up with all of the new things. I love that there are so many options out there now um, as opposed to you know years ago when there really wasn't a lot especially for women who were trying to carry the options have just exploded and that is fantastic so anyway I thought I would just make a video and talk a little bit about where I'm at now this honestly feels very awkward for me because I haven't posted for this channel for so long. I feel really out of my element right now and not entirely sure what I want to say. Every now and then I do get people asking, um, especially on Instagram, how I'm doing, what's going on. And so I thought I would just, you know, make a video and kind of give an update. So anyway, the biggest change in uh, my life, well, our life because I'm married um, the biggest change in our lives has been we bought property in Tennessee we still do live in Virginia but we have a property that's about six hours away and that takes a lot of our time the place is 30 acres which is amazing um, but the actual house that's on the property is really run down it property needs some work too I'll post some pictures if you guys are interested I feel like a lot of people in this community would also be interested in like homesteading type of things too because it really goes hand in hand um, you know self-sufficiency that whole thing that's really the things that we've been working on the last few years is getting more self-sufficient and and so we got this property it's 30 acres has a pond our neighbor has a herd of cows that he uses our land because we have uh, pastures and it's all fenced in and he uses our land for his cows and then in exchange for that we're gonna get a cow um, to eat <laughs> not to raise but yeah it has a big barn that needs a lot of work it has a lot of outbuildings that need a lot of work uh, it has a root cellar that came with hundreds of mason jars filled with um, food <laughs> none of it is any good it's all decades old so um, I definitely have to clean all of that out it's a hot mess uh, but we've been spending a lot of time there and slowly working on that property and we might move there sometime in the future or we might just keep it as more of like a vacation type of place I'm not really sure we've also been working on uh, making our property here in Virginia more self-sustaining so the latest thing we just did uh, we had a hand pump attached to our well so if the power goes out at our house and if we're out of gas for the generator we can um, pump water from our well. We also have chickens. I'm not sure if we had chickens the last time I filmed. We had ducks because we've had the ducks for seven years now. But we did build a pretty large chicken um, coop and run and um, every year we get a few more birds. 
and we trade eggs for things that my neighbors grow because I am terrible at growing anything, but my neighbors are great at it. So we have kind of a swap going on in my neighborhood. So that's kind of basically what has been going on at my house for the last few years. In case any of you guys are wondering, I really did want to give an update because I did just kind of disappear. I am interested in taking a look at maybe some of the newer things that have come out in the last year or so um, holster wise uh, and maybe trying out some new things because it has been a very long time since I gotten anything new and I feel like things are just way better than they used to be and I'm really interested in all the advancements that have been made. So if you guys are still interested in this channel or my thoughts on that, let me know. If not, that's fine too. I can just disappear into the sunset. <laughs> also, let me know if you guys might be interested in more um, like uh, homesteading or self-sufficiency type of videos, maybe even videos on the new property. I could show you guys that. So that's pretty much all I've got for this video. Although I will show you guys the one new thing that I've gotten in the last several years, uh, just cause that's really all I have to talk about firearms related. <laughs> So this is what I have gotten. It is a comfort concealment belly band. Uh, and it's, I will untuck this for you guys. It just looks like this, it's Velcro, it wraps around. It's, you know, pretty basic, but I like how thin it is. It's super comfortable. You can wear it down low with your gun tucked into your pants. You can wear it up high and have your gun like kind of further up here under your shirt. Really depends on what kind of shirt you're wearing. This one is uh, kind of fitted. So if I had it up high, it would bulge out. This is the setup that I have been wearing pretty much all the time for the last a year or two. This is my old tried and true Vetter holster that I've had forever. I think this is called the Light Tuck from Vetter. And I have an Ulti clip on here. I've had this forever also. This is the SIG P238. I love this. It works really well with most of my clothes. It's very easy to conceal. It shoots like a dream. I love the grip. Everything about this gun is perfect for me. <laughs> anyway, that is the setup that I've been using. And the one new thing that I've gotten <laughs> So anyway, guys, I am alive. I'm well, all is good. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I would love to know if you guys have anything that you've gotten in the last several years, um, holster wise that you love, anything you think I should be trying out. I would really love to get back into filming. There's just so much that is new to me that I would love to check out. And, um, I don't know, maybe try some different things, different kinds of videos. Just let me know what you guys are interested in or if you're interested at all. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.